everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel, Dawn Aaron Loving Hands Creations. I just want to start off by saying to everybody, thank you that had every, to everyone that had shown up when I did my live sell and for all the love and support that I got from everybody. Um, I'm just on here because I know I kind of rushed through everything and really never gave everybody the opportunity to really sit back and um, look at everything. And I know it was probably one of those, you know, color explosion overload with so many items kind of being thrown at you guys. So I just wanted to do a quick video, give you guys a few little um, examples, um, or I guess just previews of yarns that I have dyed. And just so you guys know, I don't just dye yarn. My, I don't crochet. I am a multi-crafter. I love to sculpt. I love to paint. I like to create. So to me, anything and everything is art. So let's get into it and give you guys a quick sample. Just so you guys know, I'm kind of diving into another rabbit hole. And I know I said that when I was doing my cell with Paula Mint. So here is a preview of some of my yarns. Um, so I do do 100% cotton and I find that cotton can be a little tricky to dye, but once you figure it out, I mean, it's, it's not too bad actually. It's actually, to me, it's fun. I enjoy it. It's the challenge I think that makes me really want to get into it more and more. Um, so here's like the, one of the ones that I did display. Everybody kind of just had a quick glimpse it was a colorway that I had actually done for Crystal, um, the Yarny Chicken. If you guys don't know her, go ahead and take um, check her out. She's actually wonderful to um, watch and a lot of fun. So um, this one is called Earth. I know, basic name, but what do you do? So this one here is a 100% cotton. It's about 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, and it is a four medium. So here is the colors. It has tones of brown, green, it's got um, blue. So I don't know if you guys can see, but here is some of the tones. And I'm sorry if the lighting is not the greatest, but this way that you guys have a better view and actually look on it and to see how saturated the colors are. And it is very soft. Um, I go to a few different places to get my yarn. So hopefully you guys really enjoy that. Um, another one that I have, um, I've got a, probably about four of these ones, I think, and it's called Night Sky. And it's um, 85 grams, 3.5 ounces. Um, so it's 97% cotton, 3% metallic polyester, and the name of it is called Night, Scott, Night Sky, and it's a four medium. So if you can see, this way you can have a better view of the colors of yarns and the saturation. So it's, I would say, it went from like a plum cherry to a purple, transitioning into, you know, the lighter blues and stuff like that, so. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, like, even the bigger skeins that I do uh, dye is also 100% cotton. These are 250 gram hanks. Um, they're fingering. This one is a two fine and it, if you can see here, and it's 750 yards. And this one is called uh, Forest Fairy. So I'll give you guys a quick look and it's 750 grams. There is no add-ins, no, you know, tie-ins to give it the full length. This is actually the full length of it. So you kind of got like a, a faded black to a purple, you got green, navy, blue, and orange. And then here is another one. This one is actually, I've got three of these. And this one's called Saltwater Taffy. 
I know you're probably wondering once you start hearing the names of a lot of them, maybe me and a couple of my good friends, we had a sweet tooth that night. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't know why it always ends up on food or something. That's crazy. Um, this one is also 100% cotton. It's um, 100 gram hank, 3.5 ounces. It is a four medium. And then here are the colors of a, like a gray to a light lavender to a deeper um, purple and then like a teal to a vibrant blue. And then you guys can just see the transitioning of the colors going through. And so you know that I also had gotten myself into dyeing, someone sent me down that rabbit hole of um, wool. I didn't know if I was gonna do it, but I did. Um, and it's kind of interesting, it's a challenge, it's different from dyeing cotton, and I really do enjoy it. Like I said, anything that you know presents a challenge to me is one of the things I enjoy the most. Um, so if someone gives me a color or a picture or something and they are asking me to dye that, I definitely will take on that challenge. I do enjoy doing that. Um, another one that I do have is another cotton um, and metallic polyester. So it's the sparkling. It's also for medium and this one is called embers. So you can see like how vibrant and how deep the colors are into it. So I really do hope you guys enjoy. And this way you guys can get a better view of the colors that I um, dye. And then I'll show you just one more cotton and then I'll show you a few of my um, hand dyed wool as well. Uh, this one is another sparkle, cotton sparkle, and it is a four. And this one is called seashells. See, I'm not trying to give you guys all of the candy names or food names <laughs> that I come up with. And this way, I hope the lighting is well for everybody to see. But, and it kind of does remind me of seashells, like when you go out on the beach and you do find you know, some of those seashells that have the little speckles of color in it. And... and I'll show you one more of my big hanks. This one is also another fingering and it's called Lava. And it's 750 yards as well. And if my hanking is bad, I am so sorry. I'm still trying to learn. So I know a lot of you guys, and that's the other thing I wanted to really ask everybody as well. What do everybody prefer when it comes to colors, um, material, different fibers to dye? I know I've been seeing a lot of people dye wool. So I'm, I'm trying it out. I'm seeing how that goes along. Um, so here is some of the zebra wool that I did um, dye actually the other night, probably a couple nights ago. But this is my fall colors. I had um, actually Sharon loves purple and Paula Mint were like, hey, why don't we try fall? You know, Thanksgiving is coming up there. So that way you guys can get a better view. And I haven't decided on which method I really like the most. I've kind of been struggling with it a lot. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to do like the dyeing of all of this and get the vibrant and the consistency. Like I said, it's different from doing cotton. I've got a bunch more. But, and this one goes from like that really deep moss forest green to like a teal and into the purple, a deep, rich purple. Um, here's another one that you guys probably might have seen on my auction. And this one is called Boysenberry. It's supposed to be Boysenberry Blast. Um, but here it is. And this one is just your regular Hank 
um, superwash merino, 100%, and it has uh, 218 grams. So I'll give you guys a close up to see and the colors and the transitioning of the really deep, deep brown to a teal, which I didn't have teal, so I had to try and make the color teal, which was a pain in the butt because I like richness. I like depth into my colors when I dye. Same thing when I create my clay work. I Something about depth and creativity. Here is another one. This one is called um, Sunset, and this one is a superwash merino and nylon. So 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And this one is 218 grams, and it's a four medium. And this one is called Sunset. I don't know if you guys can get a really good view. And it's, you know, it's not bad, I like it. I don't wanna rub my face on it and then someone was like, oh, I want that, and then all of a sudden they got all of me on it. So I'm trying not to do that too much, even though I like to sit there and kind of like snuggle in the yarns, but I know I can't do that. Um, this one is just called Rainbow. Actually, the tag fell off of it, which I gotta put back on, but nobody's perfect, definitely not me. So this one is my Rainbow. I tried just to see, it was like well, last weekend that I tried dyeing for the first time. So you guys can see, I, I kind of didn't do very well. But to me, I like it. It kind of add a little bit of richness. It kind of reminds me of a, um, you know, how you get your stonewashed blue jeans. That's what it, you know, how it looks in certain areas is what it reminds me of. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. And I would say my last one that I will show you, I've got more drying and I've got a bunch of other colors and everything like that. And maybe I'll drop another one with the other colors or just reach out and I can definitely provide um, photos and you know images for you guys to see. This one is the triple berry. So like I said, it's kind of got like, reminds me of the stonewashed blue jeans. See the depth of colors that are in there. It's got like a raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, or blackberry. So that's pretty much it. I didn't want to go too long in the video of showing um, the different yarns that I kind of really quickly skimmed through while I was doing my live sell. Sorry for all the noise in the background. Um, but if you guys are interested and you would like um, information more about the products that I do sell, definitely visit my channel. Also subscribe and just email me and reach out and I can definitely answer any questions that anybody has. But I do hope you guys enjoy and maybe this slower pace of showing you some of the yarn had definitely helped. You can reach me at my email, um, erindawn2002 at gmail.com and any questions you have, or if you want a custom order, definitely reach out and I can work with you. And just actually take a look. You guys will definitely see that I other things that I do as well. Anyways, if you are new, thank you for watching. Um, I definitely would love to have everybody kind of just enjoy what it is that I put out there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Sorry, I'm babbling again. Hot mess as always, but like someone said, I've now become, I graduated from hot mess to a spicy disaster. So anyways, please give a thumbs up and hope to see all of you guys again in some of my lives. And maybe I might do a live and sorry, hot mess, family over and visiting. Anyways, love you guys. Have a good one.